WPS expects to have 97% of affected customers back up and running by the end of tomorrow. The rest, they say, will be fixed or at least assigned a crew by Saturday. Current data has a WPS reporting now just under 30,000 customers still out of service out of a total of 450,000 customers. And We Energies is reporting around 6,000 customers still without power and just over 200 outages. Fox 11's Marlo Lundak has the latest. They say a robin is the first sign of spring. But for many, they're still trying to get through our latest winter storm. What are you doing today? Uh, trying to grill out my uh, frozen stuff that thawed out in the freezer. Today, in the last three days, our power went out, so we've been trying to improvise and lots of blankets on the bed. Chuckle Smith lives in the Astor neighborhood. Low hanging wires near his home knocked out his street's power. But uh, some chicken breast and brat patties. He's making the most of it. I got my dog to snuggle with and listen to the radio and uh, have a couple of brewskis. But not everyone can embrace it. So we ran out of every generator we had. Many turned to their local hardware stores. We had a full stocked shelves of Echo, Honda, Eco. And we have nothing left. You've never, never. seen outages like this never. before. Never. That's what Norm Wazalowski did. He was looking for a sump pump, but it didn't work. From nine o'clock at night till ten o'clock the following morning, we were in the sump pump in the, in the well digging water out. His power was finally restored Wednesday night. He was beyond grateful. I'll tell you what, you appreciate it when you got it because you don't realize what power does and what it runs and uh, without it. But others are still waiting. How much longer do you think you can go without the power? Me, I'm a Wisconsinite all year. <laughs> In Green Bay, Marlo Lundak, Fox 11 News. Oh, maybe you wouldn't want to, though, for those still waiting for that power to come back on. WPS gave Fox 11 an update this afternoon. It said since Tuesday, power has been restored to roughly 78,000 customers. By the end of today, they expect that number to reach 100,000. 97% of customers should have their power restored by the end of the day on Friday. And a WPS spokesperson says that every available crew is working to get the lights back on. Additional help has also been called in. We've also brought in hundreds of additional workers, more than 300 additional workers to assist us with making repairs and restoring power. These are crews that are coming from places such as Iowa, Ohio, Illinois, that have come up here to Wisconsin to help us out. WPS says the longest that customers may have to wait would be until the end of the day on Saturday. That is only for areas that have been the hardest hit with damaged power poles and lines. What are you doing today? Uh, trying to grill out my uh, frozen stuff that thawed out in the freezer. Today, in the last three days, our power went out, so we've been trying to improvise and lots of blankets on the bed and uh, got batteries in the radio and candles and yeah, so this whole block on Emily Street has been out for the last 36 hours or more. What, so what day, what time was it when your power originally went out? Uh, probably before midnight, uh, three days ago. So we've been here quite a while. Did you think that it was gonna take this long? No, usually they come in within uh, that same evening, but they've been busy, I guess, up in other communities that don't have power. Green Bay WPS has been helping out those communities as well, so they're pretty thin. What's it been like the last couple of days trying to deal with not having power? I know you talked a little bit about it, but what's it been like? It's a lot of fun, you know, and then I run errands to keep warm, and uh, I have my lights on in case I drive by and I see the power's back on, but so far no success, so hopefully they'll show up soon. How much longer do you think you can go without the power? Me? I'm a Wisconsinite all year. <laughs> I don't think I could. No. You're braver than me. Oh, yeah. So what are we making? Uh, some chicken breast and brat patties and all kinds of stuff. I got more to cook out. You had a lot of stuff in the fridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. So why waste it? Exactly. Yeah. Why waste it? Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add about just been dealing with the last couple of days without power? Anything that I've left out? Oh, uh, not really. Just uh, I got my dog to snuggle with and listen to the radio and uh, have a couple of brewskis. Tell me a little bit about 
your experience. When did your power go out? When did it come back on? What were you experiencing? Tell me about it. Well, I believe I'm going to say Tuesday night. I lost the day here somewhere, but uh, it happened around six o'clock, and we heard a bang, and well, I thought, well, okay, this is no big deal. It happened a few times before, but only lasted three to five hours. So I thought, okay, we'll get through this. I got a backup some pump battery one. I thought, okay, not a problem. So the power goes out and I go down there to check it and the pump ain't running. I thought, okay. Well, the battery went dead and I've checked it just two weeks before that. So now it's 20 to nine and I call Home Depot and they got one. I got there about three minutes to, brought the battery back, hooked it up. The pump ain't running. I thought, what's going on? Well, now the pump is bad. So now we got no backup. So from nine o'clock at night till 10 o'clock the following morning, we were in the sump pump, in the, in the well, digging water out. Three gallons at a time, do the math on it, from 10 o'clock, nonstop, we never got to bed, till 10 o'clock the next morning, I finally got my old generator going that I could power off the uh, uh, regular electric sump pump. While we got through that, my wife was falling asleep at the, <laughs> on the dryer waiting for me to fill the pail, but we kept going and uh, got it done. And uh, as long as we lived here, we, we've had outages, not that many, been fortunate, but you know, three, four, maybe five hours. But this was unbelievable. And uh, fortunately, I was able to get another uh, generator from a friend of mine uh, and uh, was able to hook up to, now the freezers are thawing and the refrigerators are getting warm and I was able to plug it in and, and uh, continue on. Well, I guess around one o'clock I got about an hour and a half sleep on Wednesday and I finally, my neighbor calls me and he says, hey Norm, shut your generators off. I said, no, I ain't shutting them off. He says, well, if you look around, you got lights. And I, <laughs> I fell asleep and didn't even realize we had power. So that was 9 o'clock last night. But, uh, we, you know, and I understand, uh, and not realizing what kind of an outage this was, because, I mean, I called WPS and got nowhere, sat on the phone, went phone on for an hour at a time to get nothing. And I tried at 2 o'clock again. They finally answered at three, got nothing. I thought, you can't even tell me when you're gonna be in the area. She says, no, we got so much going on, we can't give you time. So we just continued on till it came on, so. So you said, I mean, just reiterate for me, you've lived here for so long. November and 71. And you've never, never seen outages like this never, before. Never, never, never. How good did it feel when that power finally came back well, on? Well, I'll tell you what, you appreciate it when you got it because you don't realize what power does and what it runs. And uh, without it, it's a problem. You know, you got freezers, you got uh, your furnace, you got your electrical. I mean, your phone don't even work. If you didn't have a cell phone, and mine was just about dead by this time, and uh, you, 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 Betty and I were just talking about that. Um, she says, you know, yeah, that wasn't good, but think about the people that have tornadoes and floods. This ain't nothing. It is, but it isn't. So we're thankful. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add or mention about this? I know you went through kind of a, a crappy couple of hours there, especially overnight when the power couple, originally went yeah. out. Anything else? Well, like I said, it was about, about well, actually, we started dumping, we started picking or draining the sump pump about 9 o'clock that night and went through the whole night till 10 o'clock the next morning. We couldn't stop. If we did, we'd have had a flooded basement again. So you do what you gotta do. Wow. So. Well, thank you for sharing You're your experience welcome. with us. I'm glad that your power is oh, yeah. back on yeah. and, and now far, you can finally relax. As far as I know, I think everybody, because from what I was told, there were four, one, two, three, at least four houses on our block and four or so, and it was one section. Now. What the issue was, I don't know, mm -hmm. but it's been taken care of, so yeah. that's good.